What is up you guys? This is a really quick way to create a main menu. You have your start which opens up your level and you also have the ability to go to settings and come back and quit the game but we're not going to do that because I don't want to close my editor like a ding dong. So the very first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a new level which is going to be called main menu and this is where we're actually going to be displaying our main menu. Next, you're going to want to get a widget, and we're going to call this main menu uh, W for a main menu widget. Once that's done, open up your menu. We don't have to necessarily save that. Go to blueprints and open level blueprint. This is where we're going to be putting all of our code to actually show our main menu. So from here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create widget and select the widget that we created where our main menu is actually going to be displayed. Then get player controller and from our get player controller we're going to sit set UI mode only and first we're going to actually want to make sure that this is viewport and to Viewport. So basically, what we're doing first is it's going to show our widget. Our widget's going to be shown on our viewport, and then our viewport is going to be going into our set input mode only for our UI. And then we're also going to do a uh, show mouse cursor. And basically, this is now going to be showing our mouse on the main menu screen. So once again, we create the widget, the widget goes to our viewport, our viewport is basically getting how, how do we interact on the main menu, and then we're showing our cursor on the main menu. All right, next, just make sure that your return value is set to your target, and we are all set for that, and open up our main menu widget. All right, so now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna want to add a widget switcher which basically lets us switch between two different widgets. And then what we're also gonna to wanna to do is we are going to want to anchor this to the entire screen and then make sure it is covering the entire screen. Uh, screen. And then from here, what we're also gonna do is we're gonna bring in two canvas panels, like so. We're gonna name one settings and then here we need to switch. One is going to be settings, and then the other is just going to be called uh, main menu. And so I'll just reorganize this. The main menu is first, setting is second, or whatever you can easily remember. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get a button and put that to our main menu, and we're also going to want to get a text and attach that to our button. And we're just going to call this text start because this is the button that we're going to press to activate it and actually like get the game to play. We'll make that a little bit bigger. Okay, and then attach the anchor, act, <laughs> anchor to the middle here. And we're just going to put our button right in the center. Uh, do something like 0.5. Yeah. We'll do 0.5 for both of these, so that way it's just kind of like right smack dab in the middle. And what we're going to do now is we're going to control C, and then we're going to do just two more times here. And uh, of course, just kind of move these out of the way to kind of like what best fits, what best fits you. Uh, we'll just move these right now. It's not going to look pretty. And then the next thing we're going to want to do is we're also going to want to put one on setting. And we got our basics started for our menu here. So let me clean this up and I'll get right back to you. Alright, so what I did was I just went ahead made this fancy uh, by changing the different buttons and like the different names of the buttons and laying them out. So of course this is going to be different based on what you're wanting for your menu, but I just took some time to make it nice for you. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to our graph and for each of the buttons that we created, 
we are going to want to do an on click. So basically, when we click those buttons, that's what's going to be happening. So for our, when we click the start button, we're going to open level by name and just simply put in the name of the level that we want to do um, for it to actually open when we first start playing. And then for our settings, we're going to want to get a widget reference. And then from here, we're going to do a uh, set active widget index. And the index of which is going to be one because that is going to be our second page. Because when we come back here, the first page, the first thing that's opened is main menu set zero. The second thing that is opened within the widget switcher is settings, and so that is going to be one. It's weird how it doesn't go one, two, it just goes zero, one, but that's just how Unreal Engine works. So please don't get confused. And for our exit, we are just going to uh, quit game which is its own node here and then for our back when we click the back on the settings menu we're doing the same thing but instead of going to the second page which is labeled one we're going to go back to our original page which in this case is zero remember starts at zero one not one and two really weird but that's just how it is all right so now that that's all done if we go back and we play wait a minute here what's going on uh, give me one second, why is, oh, okay. So, on Event Begin Play, <laughs> I forgot to connect this. This is my bad, I completely apologize. So, we pile and save, we come back, we click play. There we go, our menu pops up. And so, if we click start, it clearly takes us to our game. Uh, or if I go to settings, I can go back to our settings and so on. And if we click exit, of course, it's going to close out, but I don't want to like close out of the editor. But yeah, that is how you make a really quick and simple main menu for your game.